Welcome back to Dracula Resurrection. Alright, uh, last we left off, we had just killed a couple of goons and uh, assembled a whole bunch of inventory stuff. And this door... Well, we need to get down to the lake, past the bridge. But, unfortunately, the innkeeper's locked the main door, so I don't think we can go there. She did, however, come out of this door, so is this unlocked now? Aha! Oh, and it was guarding a balcony area. Well, we don't want to jump off, necessarily. Ah, but there's a hole in it. Well, OSHA's not going to like that, but it works for us just fine. Of course, now we can't get back up there, but it hardly matters because the important part is now we can go. Wow. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Well, we just looted a couple of keys off of him. That might be helpful, but for right now, who cares? Let's go. Get across that bridge and get to Carfax. Oh no, rumble features! Uh. Wow! <laughs> Could you maybe not run like such a ponce? Just saying. Okay, well, the bridge is out now, so we can't really go across it anymore. Um, and we can't get into the front door of the inn anymore, nor can we climb up that balcony. So we appear to be stuck unless we want to hang out with Owl Jesus. Hmm, he did have a couple of keys on him. wonder if they work on this one. Not this one. Presto! Open sesame. Oh my, this is a very unusual well. Must be unfortunate for those lamps when this floods. Alright, so we're in a weird Lego catacombs, I suppose. Hey, here's a door-like area. That's too dark. We can't see in here. Let's see if there's anything up these stone stairs of the rusty handrails. Oh, a lamp. And a little bricked wall. This is a weird well project, I guess. Ah, illumination. And the grapnel. Yeah, we get a grappling hook. Cool. I mean, it's, it's undoubtedly neat. I don't know what we're supposed to do with it at the moment, but... Get out of here. It's a neat little excursion. But ultimately it would be more useful if we could get back in the... Oh, hey. What about... If we pulled a Batman right here. Again, no one notices this. Because we are the knight. All right, well, let's go around. Hey, 
ill guy. Uh, you said the bridge was the best way. It's the only way. The bridge has just collapsed. Is there another way up to the castle? The bridge is down. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the only path that goes to the castle. He has the best reaction. Except perhaps... Uh, do you know of another way? The old people say that there's an underground passage leading to the castle. But that's just a tall tale. If there's a passage, no one knows where the entrance is. Why are you being so seductive? That was weird. Okay. Well, uh, you're getting a little sauced tonight. Maybe 24 drinks was enough. How about you? The bridge has collapsed. It was very hard for me to get back to the inn. You must help me find another path to the castle. Viorel is furious. I had to lock the doors of the inn to escape his anger. I think he's convinced that we're helping you. I'm so afraid. What is to become of us? I need you more than ever now. How can I possibly get out of the inn and reach the castle? If there's no other way, I will have to confront Virel. Too much is at stake. No. I cannot let him harm you. Those people have made a pact with the devil. There is no way you can win. There may be a way out. A few days before he died, my late husband told me about a passage through the cellar. Hurry! Did he Time die of fright? Show me. Alas, I never knew what he was talking about. <laughs> but he seemed so frightened, so ill. You may find some clues in his notebook. I put it away in the cupboard. But I beg of you, be careful. Whatever is down there, that is what killed my husband. Jesus. You sure it wasn't that? Oh. I'm sorry, I'm being unfair, but just... Bleh. That was a wood creak for a very much larger door than that. Oh, hey. Got a key and a lighter. And I don't know how to interact with that journal. I think this version is kind of glitched in certain places. Just tells you a little bit more about the mysterious circumstances surrounding the basement. Which we're going to investigate. Hey, we got a lighter now. Whee! That is the brightest looking... It's got a lens flare. Woo! Alright. Let's check out this cask. Well, this is very ornate. Somebody certainly knew what they were doing. Hmm. Keyhole. Oh, hey! Okay, what am I supposed to do with this? There's no place for a key. I can't... I can't light it on fire. I don't think that would work. I can't Batman it. That That's not gonna help. This? This thing? How in the world did that work? What? What happened? Oh. Wait a minute. I... Uh, how did that... No. No, no. I noticed they don't let you go back, because you'd certainly ask questions about the spatial situation there. Well, this cask was not a cask at all. It seemed to be some sort of secret entrance into a mine of some sort. And 666-DR-PI. 
the devil Dracula calculation for a circle. All right. All right, that's cool. No, that's fine. That's 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 fine. What? <laughs> Certainly a strange place. Well, let's get out of here. Oh, it's locked. It's rocked. There's just a giant stone in the way. Well, what's this? What? I don't think they knew what sound effect to use for that, so they just used everything. Well, this looks very familiar, so... How does that work? It only seems to loosely put itself in place. Couldn't I just turn it with my hand? Okay. Well, it worked. I guess that's all that matters. Mm, there's VRL. I can't go through there. Because he's evil and protected by the devil. I notice the devil doesn't seem to protect you from blunt force trauma to the head. Well, this cabin's here still. I know we couldn't get in there before. Maybe we can now. Not that key. Bingo. Question mark? Boy, this is... This is a real swanky place you got here. Huh. This is a murder shack if I ever saw one. I hope that's rust. Oh, hey, a bunch of barrels. And a... Paint stir. Gah. So we get Donkey Konged, but despite it probably kneecapping us terribly, it doesn't. So whatever. And we got a crowbar out of it. So neat. But more interestingly, we opened up this elevator. Nowhere else to go. Let's see where it goes. Perfumes, women's lingerie. Oh. Oh, VRL. You're a jerk. Uh oh. Ooh. Game over. Except, no. Apparently, we were wearing our portal boots because we didn't die immediately from that. I notice it completely destroyed the mechanism in every way, but we're fine. Are you sure we're not protected from the devil? I don't know. Or by the devil, or with the devil? I don't know. Some sort of devil re revelry going on here? I scooby dooed for a moment there. Well, this is a weird little cave system here. And we can't get over there, because Jonathan says it's stuck. What he really means is there's a giant chasm, and if I brave it, I will die. Because I'm an Englishman, and I have no athletic prowess. Well, let's, uh, let's interact with this chain here. Again, game over. Bringing a mine shaft down on your head strikes me as profoundly unwise. But hey, we got a beam out of it. Great. <laughs> we should have also gotten 15 tons of rocks. But for some reason, we're okay. Hey, instant bridge. He just gives a question mark. 
even though it's obvious what he was doing. Okay, cool. Well, this is fascinating. Ah, oh, pile of rocks. Nothing more interesting than that. We should investigate. Very fragile. I don't think you understand how rocks work. Ah! It's a spooky, scary skeleton. <laughs> I think we jumped into the end of an episode of the Twilight Zone. Okay, well... Whatever, I guess. Pretty dark in here. Let's light up the night. Hmm. We can't. Guess we need something else first. Yeah. Yeah, we just took his arm. What? He's not using it. Here's another collapsed bridge. Beginning to think this is our fault. Okay, for no explainable reason, when we pick up the skeleton arm, then we can light the lamp. Hmm. We want to get this thing over here, but we can't. Let's see if our friend can lend us a hand. Yeah. Yeah, that happened. How did we use it like one of those little wind-up grabby things? I don't know. Certainly not devil powers, if that's what you're thinking. That would never happen. Well, that's a bit of a drop. And we don't like falling down huge distances. That would clearly be deadly to us, despite all evidence to the contrary. I want to take you for a ride. Jesus Christ, Action Jackson. <laughs> I don't know. Mr. Harker, uh, he draws some conclusions about what's correct to do that I don't know that I would make. on the other side of that bridge now. Unfortunately, we're surrounded by closed doors on every side. Here's some minecart tracks. Fascinating. Well, Maybe we can use those in the near future. Hint, we'll be using those in the near future. Let's go into this dark foreboding cavern. Well, there's the door. We could get out, except it seems to be an automatic door. It's triggered by something. Something besides human hands pushing on it. Maybe it's part of the track. Yeah. We could open it up by running this minecart into it. Activating the switch on the track. 
We. Oh, hooray. Didn't have nearly enough momentum to do that. <laughs> Much less crash into it. Oh boy. Well, let's just take this hook here. And there's a barrel of fuel in there. Great. There's nothing over here. Apparently have a very nice dining set here. Alright, well we could get this minecart going, except that the track's just going to lead us back up that track that we pushed it down. So we need to switch it. This switch could do it. Oh, except that it's not actually connected to its own mechanism. But we have just the fix for that. Perfect. We just solve Blue's Clues because we're really smart. Okay. Well, let's get started right now, shall we? It's time to get the heck out of here. This was the best idea ever. And instant regret. Oh my god. They take this route every day? Oh god, get in there. Don't tip yourself backwards. Huh? Oh dear. Oh, now we're going way faster. We busted that oil drum that we took with us for no explainable reason. But hey, we got a lot closer to Carfax. Here's a piece of wood. Let's take it out of the way. Let's explore down here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to raise that bridge if we want to get across it. What is this? Oh god, really? Yep. And then... Yeah, that was the most convoluted mechanism I've ever seen. Well, uh, at least it worked, question mark. What? What? That gear isn't even part of a gear, it's part of the wall. No, no. No, not gonna question it. Let's 
just go forward here. Oh, hey, a lantern. Let's land it and take it. And let's go. Ah, oh, bats! Ah, oh, harmless bats. What? What? Okay. Apparently we can't go forward because bats exist. All right, yeah, no, no problem. It's, sure. Well, the answer to that, well, realistically, the answer to that is just to walk forward and not be a total wuss, but really the answer to that is to take this lantern that would help us light our journey and instead commit arson. Wow! Explosive arson at that. That absolutely should have killed us. But no, we're fine. Totally, t totally fine. Oh hey, a battle axe. I should take that. But I can't. Oh well. Is this a weird air gondola thing? Yup. All right, let's see the rest of Disneyland. Ah, it's a Gregorian chant monorail. I remember going on that one. Oh, that seems profoundly unsafe. Oh, hey, I guess we didn't kill you. Somehow. Oh, you got pudding coming down on you. So, our young friend is going to the castle. Are you sure he has the ring with him? <laughs> Good. Excellent. Dracula you will be rewarded. Played by Lou Reed. You'll soon find out what it costs to attack me. What greater pain could I possibly inflict on him than impede his quest when time is so precious? But the sun is rising, and now is not the time to play with my prey. The fool. He is walking to his death, and he is not aware of it. My name is Mark. Thanks a lot. Hey, we finally did it. We made it to Carfax. Well, we made some pretty darn good time, if I do say so myself. But, I think that's enough adventuring for now. We're going to call it here. And we'll continue next time on Dracula Resurrection.